hello welcome to the channel where my sticky note just fell so sad um anyways i wear the same uh sweater over and over again so i don't have to take new photos for um thumbnails okay my march tbr i believe it's 11 books and i got a computer here to one read off of uh the books but also to look at synopses i did already film this once and it was like 10 minutes long because i didn't say anything about any of the books and i felt bad so back to <laughs> Well, the sticky note's not sticky anymore, um, which is sad. Uh, we have three types of books uh, I'm reading this month, or categories, I guess, uh, which are uh, buddy reads, because all the books that are being read for book clubs I'm in uh, are all either books I've already read or not on my TBR, and I'm trying to only read the ones that are for books on my TBR, right? Makes sense. Um. So it's just Buddy Read with H, uh, which is A Soul to Keep by Opal Rain. Um, yeah, you know, we know I can't pronounce things. It's like a very long, like 500 plus page uh, fantasy romance uh, with a, a dusk walker, I assume. Yeah, uh, and, and she has to like cross, she's like kind of sacrificed by the people in her village to go across the veil uh, into the land of demons. Um, kind of very much giving me the uh the Elise Kova I've read if you know you know listen I can't remember names of anything um but very much giving me that type of vibe um I think it's like supposed to be like her, she is there to keep them company or something like that um and then romance I assume happens one based off the cover that is gorgeous thank you very much and also that the fact that it's like over 500 pages ahead yeah um the other category is neck valley uh technically there is one that's going to be published in late March, but I started it today. <laughs> so, um, I, I'm assuming I'm going to finish it before then, or DNF it, one or the other. Um, since it's only 300-ish pages. Uh, so yeah, I'm not going to be reading that in March, but I will be reading, um, the two that come out very early in April, like April 4th, both of them do. Um, one, so that I'm not, like, struggling to read them, two of them in, like, four days, right? But also, because I have very specific plans for my theme of all of April for reading. So, um, yeah, uh, those are Blood Debts by Terry J. Benton Walker. I don't know much about it. Uh, I have the audiobook. I've heard good things. I think it was Brandy that I heard about this book from. And I was like, and then I was just scrolling through Net Kelly and I saw it. I was like, instantly at it. And then I, I think it was like the second or third book I got approved for on Net Kelly. And I was like, oi. Um, so I'm excited. I think it's fantasy. Which will be good because I've kind of read a lot of romance recently. Um, kind of on that vein is uh, Spellbound by F.T. Lukens, which is the new F.T. Lukens. Um, I now own two of F.T. Lukens books uh, in deeper waters, and so this is ever after. Both of them on my favorites shelf. Um, I both I love both of them. Um, did I cry the second I got the email notification that I got approved for so, uh, Spellbound? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Will I? Even though own it now on my Kindle, well, own it, but I have it on my Kindle now. Will I still buy it physically at some point? Probably. Apparently, F.T. Lucas is just going to get a whole entire corner of my bookshelf. Because, like, yeah, I have a good time. Um, From what I remember, it is the one that is least likely to be, like, my type of thing based off of plot. But, like, I trust F.T. Lucas at this point. Okay, trust. Thank you very much. Like, yeah. Um, But basically, they're is something to do with investigation and um assistant to like a professor or something i don't know do i ever know anything no <laughs> all right um next one uh well next category is vlogs uh and time for the five book vlog uh you know which is pur the purple reading vlog it's the last of the monochromatics um the first one is one oddly enough chosen by age which is starfish by kimi don bowman um, it's a contemporary YA, and I think there's two contemporary YAs on the list for this vlog, because I'm not making an official effort to, like, try to read more contemporary YAs, but I've noticed that I've liked a few, so, like, why not continue to read them? Um, to, like, widen my taste, because, like, sometimes I just read fantasy and romance, and fantasy romance four months straight and then I'll read one contemporary and cry my eyes out and have a good time so maybe I should just like read contemporaries occasionally hear me out um 
do I remember much about this book? No. I see that H rated it five stars. Intriguing. I do remember H reading it, loving it, and then I changed out one of the books for this vlog for this one uh, pretty early on. I think like in May. Uh, but yeah. But basically, um, for me glimpsing at the synopsis is about a uh, half Japanese teen uh, grappling with her social anxiety and family uh, after being rejected from art school. So yeah, I'm expecting to cry, which will be good. It does say emotional and hopeful at the same time. Intriguing. The next one is To Have Into Hoax by Martha Waters, which is the first in the Regency Vow series. Um, because historical romance. Listen, I'm still in my, I mean, I should I say historical romance era in general or just romance general? In general. There we go. I can't speak words anymore. Maybe. Um, but yeah, uh, I mean, I'm intrigued by this series. I want to read some of the later ones, so I figured why not read the first one, um, and whatnot. Um, but basically, off of the very brief glimpse at the description, uh, an estranged husband and wife in Regency England feign accidents and illness and attempt to gain attention, uh, and may just win each other back in the process. I don't understand how this is funny and lighthearted, but you know, I'm not gonna question it. Now, the next one, I know is the second book in the Marriage Game series, uh, the Dating Plan by Sarah Dursai. But yeah, it's basically fake dating. Fake fiance, technically, in this. Um, and I like fake dating. It's like one of my top two, top three tropes. Uh, they, I mean, I, in no specific order, it's fake dating, marriage of convenience, and enemies to lovers. So, I think I could like it. Um, whatnot. Uh, I did look at the synopsis of the first one to be like, hey, should I read that one before I read any other in, or the next one type thing, you know, um, try to read it this month? And I don't think so. I don't think it's my type of thing. Yeah, I just reread the synopsis of the first one and it doesn't seem my type of thing. I mean, I guess it's technically enemies to lovers, but, you know, I don't, I don't want to read Down on Her Luck Woman versus CEO, oh no, they're fighting for the same office space and now they're in love. Like, I don't want to read that. I don't know. Maybe I'll read it at some point. If people tell me to go for it, I am very susceptible to whatever anyone tells me. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, the next one is You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. I know this. Um, I know it's gay. I know it's, uh, contemporary YA. Um, you know, all great things. Uh, we love that for me. Do I really know anything else other than there's gay contemporary YA? And that people generally love it no but like do i need to know more no my wrist is hurting from holding this laptop oh uh, yes i remember glimpsing at the synopsis i remember on this one uh the scholarship that she was playing on uh to become i believe a doctor yeah um falls through but then she remembers that there's like a scholarship or yeah scholarship for the school uh if you win prom king or queen so she puts an effort. <laughs> she does it. Uh, she tries to become prom queen for the scholarship. Um, yeah. Uh, I remember reading that synopsis forever ago and liking it. So, you know, uh, that would be a fun time. And then the last one is Geek Gorilla by Ashley Poston. Um, which is the first book in the Once Upon a Con series. Uh, I was... I, I was pretty sure that's a retelling, but it officially is. Uh, Cinderella one. Basically, there's like a competition, cosplay competition to do with her father's uh, and her favorite show. And um, and then I think you get to go to a ball if you win uh, and meet and greet the one of the main actors. Uh, and I think it's a romance between the two of them. So I haven't read many romances with um famous people i've only read a few uh and you know uh my favorite parts of the ones that i have read are or i think the reason why i like them despite the fact that the famous people thing is there is that um either one of them does not know the other one is famous or does not care if they are famous um 
the first one I think of is XOXO by Axio. Like, she doesn't know that he's a famous K-pop star. Um, and he doesn't know that she's kind of famous in the shallowest uh, circles. I think she's quite shallow. Um, yeah, that's it for that vlog. Um, I don't really know much. I've heard mixed things about it, but a few of the booktubers, or at least one booktuber I follow, um, really liked it. So, you know, my wrist really hurts from all of that. I'm very heavy laptop. Um, anyways, on to the three book vlog, which is, um, the vlog in which H chose three random books for me to read. Um, one of them is very much more random than the other two. Uh, the first one is things we never get got over. There we go. Can I read? No. Um, apparently I can't read or speak. Um, I know it's a contemporary romance, kind of long, like over 500 pages, uh, nearly 600, I'm pretty sure. But H really enjoyed it. I randomly picked it off of H's TBR to read this month, and then H loved it so much that now H is randomly picking it for me to read for a vlog. I love how full circle this is. Um, according to H, the comedy in it is very me, uh, which is intriguing. Because I think yesterday or the day before yesterday, I meet, I, I made some dark jokes. So, you know, <laughs> we'll see what that means. Um, and also, I got threatened if I read the second epilogue, because there's two of them. If I read the second one, H will come and kidnap my dogs. So, interesting. Um, but that's that one. And then there's Unleashed by Bella Jacobs, which is a shifter romance. I believe it's a trilogy. H really likes them. Um... It is in my TBR jar, so if I do, like, pick it out of the TBR jar at some point, I'll just read the sequel, because, like, why not? It's also a part of my 23 to read in 23. I really should have expected this, um, because the age keeps on trying to get me to read it. Uh, you, you think it's wolf shifters from the cover, right? But I remember H mentioning there being bears or something, so... No, I'm just expecting to just, like accept a bunch of dumb shit into my brain and have a good time okay um and then the last one is really the epitome of what I expected for this whole entire thing which was um books that I'd never heard of and are oddly enough either already read by H or on H's TBR which I, as someone who had to scroll through them to play all our buddy reads for the year yeah there's a lot of stuff on there that I've never heard of uh so uh, yeah, I was kind of expecting three of those, but I only got one of those, and that is, uh, Break by Hannah Moskowitz. Um, I don't really know much about it other than it's kind of short. It's like 200-ish pages, and, uh, according to H, um, the main character self-harms by purposely breaking bones. about that um so yeah that's 11 books i plan to read in march i think i can do it based off of my reading the past two months um well this month and last month it's kind of crazy so you know that's fun um and that's it uh linked below is all my social media all in a link tree because it looks prettier thank you very much um i like it much more um so yeah uh check me out on all the stuff i post reviews uh most likely i will post ones or most definitely will post ones um for the net galley ones on uh specifically my goodreads and my instagram so like check those out uh tomorrow i know this is gonna be uploaded on tuesday so tomorrow there is gonna be another read with me and then saturday is the february wrap-up so if you want to hear me talk about romance for like an hour and how uh i oddly enough have such a low average rating for the month yeah um uh, it's like under three stars for the month of February so far. Um, so yeah, um, stay tuned if you want to watch that. And I think that is everything. Mm -hmm.